Hello, everybody. Kelly here, and I am back for my fourth episode now of Final Fantasy X, my Let's Play. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I have not written down any questions. I thought, totally thought I was like, yeah, I'm totally going to write some questions down. And then I didn't. And then I went out and got something to drink instead. And a chocolate cupcake. So, um, we're just going to, we're starting up from the ship. The last episode, uh, we loaded on the ship, headed for Kilika Port and Luka, and we talked to Owaka the 23rd, and he basically told us that our clothes sucked, and they were filthy, and they were, is he going to come over and talk to us? No, he just walks in front of us and pushes us. What a dick! But some day, at the name of Walker, will be spoken all over Spira. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. Did you just tell us we had no money? No, I have no money for you. Eh, uh, it figures. <laughs> I will give, be giving him ten grand. That's how much he wants for to start up his his business. And you have to have it by the time before. I think it's the end. It's either the beginning of. Mushroom Rock Road. No, I think it's the end of the Meehan uh, High Road. So you have to have it by then. You have to have it completely paid off by then. Um, even if you do get a little bit of a pay down, he will sell some really cool weapons to you for really cheap when the time comes. Well, cheaper than you would normally get them if you give him the 10 grand. And the more that you... Um, the more money you give him, the cheaper the things become. So, a lot of the story that you see is all foreshadowing for the the thing. Like, you know, here's, uh, what is her name? One of them's Gata, I think. I forget this dude's name. I'm not at liberty to Uzu. talk about our plan. And then... Restricted area. Our operation depends on this cargo. That's right. That's right. So you can go into each and every one of these rooms. Well, not each and every one of them. That's wrong. Here's a chest. You obtain the remedy. Uh, if you kick this right here, you'll get potions out of it. I don't know how many times you can do it. I think it's like five. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's six. There's seven. There's eight. <laughs> There's nine. There's ten. Could you just imagine just walking around and kicking someone's luggage? That's ridic that's ridiculous. Uh, I've gotten seasick. I think I'm gonna hurl. T -t -t taste it, taste it. And then he says behind here, uh, he seems real sick, yeah? I'm hiding over here because I'm gonna get sick too if I keep watching him. I understand. This thing on the wall kind of looks like one of those prayer mats. It's really pretty. This boat is actually rocking back and forth an awful lot for it to be in the sea. Although, I don't really know. I, I'm not a I don't go on the sea much. And this is the power room. What the heck is that? What, what the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Right? Yeah, but why the big birds? What do you think they're What's doing, so idiot? What's strange about chocobo power? Chocobos? Those are I mean, chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? Hmm. That's kind of rude for her to say in that Miracles way. Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. I think my dog just crapped in the room. I should do something about it. I will, in a minute. Because, oh, there's a primer. There it is. See it? Barely. He's gonna get spanked. Alright, he's gonna get in trouble. 
because I told him tonight when I took him out for a walk that if he no uh, it figures I don't have I only have a hundred thousand or I only have a thousand I think yeah thirteen hundred well let's see I have 20 potions three high potions I do have a map I have grenades okay I guess we can give you the thousand have you got some to lend No. I guess it pays to ask. Thank you kindly, lad. Fine seed money for the Oaka Merchant Empire. Mm hmm Okay, and then you go back upstairs. Now that we've done everything down here. And there's not really much you can do. Um, going up here, there's nothing up here. It's just pretty ocean I guess and then I think you can talk to Owaka or Come to Waka. Think of it, I haven't told you where we're going Waka Owaka first to Kilika Island Kaka, I, I don't then know then we change boats and head for Luka for that though Yuna's gotta pray at the temple I'll be guarding we'll be praying for the Aurochs victory too so you come along yeah <sighs> great plan hey it is a great plan. Don't look at me. You just go up and talk to her. Word is that summoner's got noble blood. I heard. Okay. This is the problem with me. They're standing right in front of her talking about her. And she's Lord Brat. Like, they're not off in a corner somewhere whispering to themselves. This is straight. They're in her face talking about her. Braska's daughter. You don't say. Lord Braska's daughter. Hmm. So then you can come back over here, talk to Owaka. Oak Owaka, I mean. So is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough <sighs> when your father's famous. Huh? Waka's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. Like, what does all that mean? Like, I understand that Waka said that his parents were killed uh, not soon after Chapu was born, but... No, you're right. He wouldn't have an imagination about his, fam his father being famous or his mother, you know, or his... Ooh, oh, damn, I was hoping I could go back and get that... See if they would hit me in the head. Be totally funny. I have a weird sense of humor, y'all. I love the texture. You can see that the wood is peeling and chipping and cracking. The wind. It's nice. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So funny. Ha 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 ha. I feel like they laugh at inopportune times or in inappropriate moments. You're a Blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Huh. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. Hmm. But I believe you. Huh? 
I've heard in Xanakin, there is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. My father. His name is Jekt. <gasps> Amazing! You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. I I'm sorry. He went out to sea for training one day and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Why, that's the day that huh? Jekt came to Spira. But... Uh... It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? Uh... <laughs> kind of yeah, yes and kind of no. Here? You're here? Are you not? <laughs> that scares me every single time. The one thing that I like, real quick, before this... Oh, I can... I cannot pause the scene. So, before this scene gets, you know, any further into it... I... Can I pause it now? Yeah, okay. So, what I like about these scenes is every time you see Sin... This is a Sin scene, by the way. Every time you see Sin... Every time you get... We get another scene where it's Sin. Like, the first time we see Sin, all we see is a floating ball of water. And then the second time... All we see, we see, like, the top half of Sin underneath the boat. We really don't even see that much. But we just know that he's uh, in the water under the, underneath the boat from the Albed. This is the third time we're technically seeing Sin, and you only get to see so much of him. And it, it, it's like each little time that we see Sin, a little bit more of him is revealed until literally... You, you mean, little you'll see, but... <laughs> I just think it's a really cool aspect that they did. Maybe you shouldn't wear being we shouldn't be wearing gloves. Why it goes from CG to non-CG to CG to non-CG. What do you think you're doing? Stick a harpoon in him and we'll all get dragged under. Sin is going for Kilika. We gotta distract it. Our families are in Kilika. Forgive us, Lady Summoner. Wait! Oh boy. Question of the day. What would you do if Sin was headed towards your family, would you distract it? Try to distract it. Clearly, there's nothing you're gonna you're gonna do. It's gonna it's going for Kilika. It's going to destroy Kilika. So would you say yes, go ahead, try to distract it the best you can, maybe it will, maybe it won't? Or do you just do nothing? And hope that it leaves Kilika alone. Question of the day, people. Or I guess question of the LP. 
See, why was that CGI? But shooting it was, like, I don't understand. It's really cool, though. Remember that I had uh, the overdrive up for what the what's his name? <laughs> I didn't realize it was her turn. <laughs> no, that's hilarious. Oh my god, I keep forgetting. Well, well, I have to get rid of these guys anyway, so, um... Let's take out this guy. See, now he changes course. And then we're going to... Uh, so it's her turn. We're gonna summon Valcor, whose overdrive is on. You can turn things off and on, like you can, you can shorten the thing. But we've seen it, so we're gonna go ahead and do his overdrive energy ray, but not on this. We're gonna do it on him. This will help get uh, Valcor's thing up. And we can use it on Sin again. That didn't work, did it? Thunder. I think Thunder is the best. Can't remember though. Yep. That is a technically water. we do win the fight. Tilika is still destroyed, unfortunately. Sometimes I hear Bender so much in his voice, it's so funny.
So I'm wondering if he just gave him a phoenix down and basically brought him back to life. Can't they just do that for other things? For other people? Like all the people in Kilika, couldn't they that, that die? Is there a certain amount of time from the time you awaken to the time that you die? Or from the time you die until, you know, the... I don't know, I'm just kind of thinking here. Uh, we're gonna... I'm gonna use cheer. Skill. I don't think darkness will work on this thing, but I'm not sure. Let's find out. It does, so that's good. So we're going to attack him. Oh, skill. Oh, he's already dark attack, so let's just regular. Let's just attack him, period. I don't know if those come- they do come back, that's what I thought. Is that a whale in the background, or is that just clouds from the sky above? I can't tell. So, let's do cheer again on us. Let's... Uh... Let's attack him. I wish the music wasn't so loud. I wish there was a way I could just turn the music off. Like, I like the music and everything, but I just wish it would wasn't so wacky and crazy. Um, let's do cheer again. I just noticed that his bracer had changed. Whoa, crazy. It's gonna miss. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, Titus needs some... He needs a potion. If you guys have a question that you want to be part of the question of the day, leave it in the comments down below and maybe I'll answer it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, cheer again. And then I'm gonna use dark- oh, that's cheer. I already used cheer. Uh, let's have him just attack him. Wow. Uh, we're gonna do dark attack on this thing again. Yeah, take that, you. Oh god, I'm not even sure what you are. Uh, jellyfish, octopus, squid looking, mushroom, clam looking. I can't even put together properly what this thing is. Because it kind of looks like it's got metal up in it. Then there's those things. Blender. I don't think there's any way to avoid Blender. Yeah. Okay. So, Waka needs a little bit of healing. Waka, 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 Waka. I think of two things. I always think when I say his name, I always think of Ozzy the Bear and Pac-Man. Down it goes. <sighs> Next, we got a yellow ring and a blue shield. Nice. I'll be able to put those on my peoples. So shit's go I'm gonna get really sad here in a minute, so I'm going to not talk during this.
When Sin attacked Xanarkin that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Maybe it was that day, on the sea, under the burning sun. I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. Imagine how those two guys that are standing at the front of the deck, I think it's called the bow, the bow of the deck, or just the front, heading of the deck, looking at Kilika. Imagine how they feel. They tried to stop Sin, and Sin, Sin still got their families. <clears throat> and imagine watching, knowing that what's going to happen, and there's no way you can stop it. You don't have any choice. You didn't get any warning. And all of a sudden, you're rocking your, your what looked like a two-month, three-month-old baby. And all of a sudden, it's ripped out of your arms. And, you know, either it's dead or you're dead. And just imagine that feeling that would suck so much. And I keep thinking, why do these people, why do they rebuild? Why do they fall in love again? And why do they, why do they have children? Knowing that in 10 years, Sin is coming back, because that's the whole the whole gist of the game. Is that every 10 years, a summoner has to go on a pilgrimage to fight Sin. To kill Sin, and then only Sin comes back every 10 years. Why keep doing this to get 10 years of happiness? I, I don't know. I mean, I just don't think that rebuilding would be worth it in my mind I'd be like just he needs to kill me because this is BS sitting here waiting anyways I'll let the rest of it continue this music is really good by the way Summoner Yuna. I have come from the temple in Besaid. Oh, Milady Summoner! If there is no other summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Oh, thanks be to you. Our loved ones, we feared they would become fiends. Please, take me to them. We'll go see what we can do to help in town. So from here you can save and... Go and... Pick up the pieces of your shattered soul. And don't pick it up just quite yet, because it's about to get worse. I hope... It said that it couldn't upload my one file. I'll have to try re-uploading it again. Maybe it's because I was playing Final Fantasy, I don't know. Um, I'll try turning it off after this and play it. So, we come over here and we don't get very far. I uh, come and talk to this lady if you want. She sells some things. She actually looks exactly like the guy, the woman from Besaid. Okay, well, she doesn't sell anything right now. <clears throat> Did you get more of the story here? Uh, what's ascending? Are we going somewhere? 
<sighs> you truly are clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? What a bitch. The dead need guidance. <sighs> Filled with grief over their own death, they refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. And in time, that envy turns to anger, even hate. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. Sad, isn't it? The sending takes them to the far plane, where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm. Can you imagine how long it would take your, your um, how long it would take you? See, they are wings. Or it looks like fluffiness come from his back. I don't know. It's about to get real CGI up in here. It must be tough, being a summoner. Yuna chose her own path. She knew from the beginning what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way, until the end. Until the end? Or shadowing. What's the end? Until she defeats Sin. Oh. <laughs> I hope... I hope oh. I did okay. I love that. Oh. You did very well. They've reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time. Mm -hmm. uh. I wished there would never be a next time. True no that. more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. I actually found it quite beautiful. Sad, but beautiful. <clears throat> oh. 
All right. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna save here. Um, no, that's not. I don't know what those are even, so I'm not even worried about it. But they glow, so I keep thinking that they're, they're the save spheres. Actually gonna end the episode a little early um but like most of it we'll pick up right where we left off um i love you guys so so much and thanks for watching and remember that today's question was what would you do if sim was heading towards your town and you could possibly distract him would you try or would you realize that there was no chance and not try all right, guys, I, oh, my personal opinion, I think I would still try. Even though I knew it was hopeless, I love my dad, my boyfriend, and my pets enough, and of course my stuff, enough that if, and plus other people, sometimes, that if something was heading towards my town and I could possibly stop it, <laughs> you, John, I would. So... I love you guys, and I will see you in my very next Let's Play, and yeah, bye guys! <laughs>